Today's the 12th of August, 2020. I apologize for poor sound quality. Uh, I'm having equipment problems. I'm using a different camera. It doesn't have a mic input. I can't use my remote. So hopefully you can still hear me reasonably. I'm out here. I'm going to do a bunch of things today, but one little thing I'm going to do here is an experiment. I love doing experiments. I often don't take the time to do them but I'm uh, always curious about what I can do with bees. One of the challenges we have in Manitoba is by the time our colonies need to be split in the spring to mitigate swarming, um, it's early enough that we don't have local queens. It's difficult to get local queens early enough in order to make those splits and uh, add the mated queens. So that necessitates import of a lot of queens from different places in the world. I won't go into all that, however, I think it would be really nice, and I have thought so since the beginning of my beekeeping career here in Manitoba, uh, if we could manage somehow to have local queens, have Manitoba queens for our splits in May. And that's a difficult challenge. I don't know how scalable this is, however, I do know a beekeeper who winters queens in uh, three-way three-way new, so it's a, a ten frame box, deep box, uh, divided into three nukes, so three three frame nukes. So he actually winters queens in colonies. In I don't know what his success rate is. He raises his own queens, um, so that's what he does. I had an idea this year to use my mini mating nukes for that, but I want to make them a double. So instead of just the five mini frames, I want to do five mini frames over five mini frames just to give them a little more expansion, let them build up a bit more and uh, let them carry a little more feed on board. So that's what I'm doing here today and I'll uh, reposition the camera here and kind of show you how I'm going to accomplish this. Okay, so this is uh, one of my quads. These are made in a standard 10 frame uh, box, at a medium depth type box. And so there's four mini mating nukes here. Two of these actually have queens. Uh, these two do not have queens. So these two actually do not have anything. There's some frames here, they're, they're not even drawn. So I'm gonna have to relate some of these frames. Put something better in there for them. Queens and a nice little colony going there. I'll just show you some of the frames. So they built these out nicely. I'll try to stay out of the sun. Uh, they're filling it with honey and nectar. The other frames are actually built out even more. a little out of hand but so there's a nice brood pattern young young brood here young brood here this queen is really really doing a good job some nice fresh laying there and there as well so she's on her way to a really nice healthy little cluster here eggs there This is going to be one of my test subjects. Put this one back in here. And this one as well. This one is in similar fashion. What I'm going to do here, uh, I need to outfit these two before I finish this off, but this is the idea to put a second quad on top. And that'll create two. Uh, a double, medium, mini <laughs> nuke. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I've got some frames here. I'm going to be picking some more nicely drawn frames for the others. Hopefully I can come up with enough and we can outfit this properly. 
Okay, so what I have here now is I have two Queen Wright nukes here. These are queenless nukes, however. I'm going to be introducing a queen to each of those. I'm just sort of using up the end of my mini mating nukes after they've produced the queens, and they have no queens in these nukes. Um, so I'm just using the bees and the frames from those. So I'm going to take this second and put it here. Hopefully that makes a good seal. It, appear, it appears that it's uh, sealed well between the nukes. Um, I'll distribute these empty frames a bit because I have more more frames of bees here. So there's a queen in this one. I did see eggs there, so there should be a queen in there too. And I'll have to double check all of these in a few days, check for eggs, make sure everything's good. Okay, I've gone around my mating nukes here and I've pulled every frame from every box. So there's a ton of bees that have no home. They'll find another home. They're good at that. They'll, uh, they'll find another hive and make their way in with some candy and take up residence. And if not, I'll shake them in somewhere else later on. So anyway, I've got, I've got a queen in each of these four nukes here. So we've got five mini, five mini frames, five mini frames, the vertical thing which the bees like for winter. They've got a lot of stores in here already, but they could uh, get even more. And in my travels to do this, I came up with two more queens. So I caged those, and I've got them here with my candy plugs. I'm going to make some splits here today. We'll introduce those queens to the splits. They will reside safely in my pocket until such time. I'm going to put the lid on here. As they say, put a lid on it. So I'm going to do just that. Make sure the entrances are open. Put a brick on here to hold the lids nice and secure. Good. So that'll be like that for winter. I have a bee cozy that'll slide down over that just for a little bit of insulation. I'll feed them with a jar each, get them nice plugged out with syrup in uh, probably almost a month before I start feeding them too much. I might give them a little piece of patty 
here. We're getting on to the middle of August now. There's still pollen and nectar here in my area, but it is dwindling. So I'm looking forward to how this winters and finding out how this winters and hopefully getting these girls back to work in the spring with some uh, with some splits. And if this works, you can bet I'm going to do it a lot more.